What's up everybody, Joe Prime here, and today I got something interesting to show you. I was talking to a friend of mine over the weekend about locations and video games that we know like the back of our hand. And I said, Firelink Shrine from Dark Souls 3. Spent tons of time there. I could absolutely see it in my mind. So he challenged me to recreate it in Valheim without looking at any reference photos. And I accepted that challenge. Now there are some things that are not perfect, but considering it was built entirely from memory, I think it actually looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the build and show you how it came out. And let's take a look at Firelink Shrine from Dark Souls 3, rebuilt in Valheim. First thing you see right from the entrance here is the main shrine itself with the bonfire in the center. All of the different boss thrones around the outside. You notice the bonfire surrounded by ash. We have our representation of the shrine maiden here waiting to level up our character. Then touch the darkness within me. And of course, all of the thrones where we leave the ash after we've defeated all of the bosses in the game. Including the throne that you bring your boss souls to. Bring to me a twisted soul. And from here we'll turn around and take a look at the other side of the shrine from the bottom. We have our path underneath the main entrance that leads down into the underground area. Through the main hall here. Representation of where the shrine maiden would be. Ah, well met, Ashen One. Andre's workshop. What would Army Smith today? And the branching paths that lead down to the underground areas. And of course, including the little cubby in the wall, where the witch NPC lives once you've rescued her from the dungeon. And heading back upstairs into the main area. Once again, you get a good view of the shrine itself. With the altar in the middle underneath the main throne. Heading back up the main stairs, we do have the two outer rings available as well. And here we have the view from the outer rings on the upper level of the main shrine. And I put up a little crystal wall here to represent the fog wall as if it was still loading in the iron tower outside. We'll do one more fly through here from the opposite side. Give you guys an idea of what it looks like from a couple different angles. So now that the tour is complete, let's talk about some of the things that went right and some of the things that went wrong. First and foremost, I do think this area here with the thrones actually looks pretty cool. It's not exactly one-to-one -to, -one to the way the thrones look in the game, but I do think it gets the vibe down. And I actually really enjoy this little altar right here too, which is actually just the bone throne turned around and then some decorative pieces. So that, I think, is actually pretty cool. Now, areas that did not work so well. One of the first complications I ran into is I built up in the mountains because I wanted the snow to be able to build up because it looks like ash and really gets that vibe going. However, you may have noticed during the fly-through that it didn't really look up very much. And that's because you can't have a roof over anything that you want to have snow on it. So I wanted to have snow and ash around the bonfire snow and ash building up on the thrones which means if we do go ahead and look up it's janky but in order to get the detail I wanted this was the best I was able to come up with 
just cutting some different holes out and everything and trying to get the snow to fall down where I wanted it to be. Secondly would be the underground area. Now there's supposed to be two paths leading off from the side here that go into the underground area as well. And more or less I, I put representations of those up but completely gave up on actually trying to do it. Building underground in Valheim is damn near impossible and just not fun. Now the actual hallway I think came out pretty well, although it should be probably a bit more square in certain areas in order to give it that height. But in order to try to maintain the underground feeling and the overall archway, I do think it came out pretty well. Now some of the other things that I wanted to add in is going to be this path leading over to the iron tower. Once I figured out that there was no ground, tried to build a little bit of a structure to work off of, and it ended up just being a complete and total nightmare. So gave up on it, put the fake fog wall in, and moved on from that. Another thing I was going to put in was a little representation of Snuggly's nest up on the top, which with the straw you can kind of do, but it's very flat and doesn't work out super well anyway. And once the roof turned into a nightmare, that was another kind of sub-project that fell by the wayside for that. But if I ever tackle this again, I think this is a fun first try to look back on and see where it all started. And speaking of which, if you guys are interested, stick around in the video for a quick little montage of what it was like to actually build this project out. And as always, appreciate you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Well, that was just a quick little video to show off one of the builds I was working on. Hopefully you guys find it interesting. If you did like it or you think it looks cool, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and let me know. Also be sure to subscribe to follow along with the main playthrough. We're almost to the point where we're going to start doing some bigger builds like this inside the actual campaign of the game. As always, appreciate you guys for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.